Okay, so let's continue with this uh, where we want to have the complete design where all uh, both the uh, data path and the controller uh, is connected together so that we have uh, uh, something like this yeah okay so uh, we will have both of our design just now which is the uh, that uh, the CU and the DU data path and this we call it DU uh, no. this is CU and this is data path unit and uh, we have the output from this is the control signal and we have six signal All right and the du we have input which is data in and we have output which is data out All right and actually we have the extra yeah this is for simulation the name is r rec one rec two Rec three, right, and of course uh, uh, we have the clock also and the reset into this. Okay, and uh, this signal is named uh, LD one. This is L LD two. This is LD three. This is SEL1, this is SEL bit number 1, SEL bit number 0. Okay, and uh, of course we have the clock as well, but this is negative H triggered. The same clock signal as with this one, eh, but this one is positive, this one is negative H. And we also have the same reset signal to this. And uh, we have one another output which is state actually from here to see the uh, present state uh, in the simulation, All right? So we want to create this uh, circuit, All right? In uh, very long, and but we already have this design and this design we just uh, connect this together. Right, to get the complete one uh, so we can create a new one create a project All right next the name here is uh, let's have a new folder we call it cu the u Five. Uh, maybe see you the you enough. Know. Right, the name is CU DU. Next. Now we need to have the uh, the previous design attached to this uh, at file so we can attach this CU into this also because we want to use in our design here. And also the du add okay and now uh, we can finish here and we create a new code very long and the name is this and the list is based should be based on this yeah we have a uh, clock reset state uh, this and this and this right so we should have clock reset state here this data in we have data out 
we have red one red two red three anything else no right uh our input the one bit input should be this right and also we have uh four bit input which is data in this one data in we have uh, output all right the four bit which is data out uh, also red one red two and red three and uh, we have another one output which is the state here which is uh, two bit okay so we have this 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 uh, everything here and uh, now here this should be declared as wire in this case right ld1 ld2 ld3 sel1 uh, all are one bit and uh, we have the two bit sel2 all right that's it now we can instantiate the cu into this all right so our cu name is uh, maybe we can have here open this see you all right so the name is this so just it use this name uh, this case is here name and uh, let's name this module as see you right the control unit see you this one and the port list should be the same as this one the, the, the arrangement and the, that the, the signal name is is the same here we use the same name so we can just copy here and that's it and uh, we also need the du so we can have the du this one this is the name that we want and uh, let's name it as du just like this and uh, also the name for this we use the same name so uh, we can uh, just copy all of this uh, to this all right so we have all of this already and any other signal that we missed no so just add module all right so you see if we have the sub module already so to create this is easy right using a hierarchical design methodology and we use the structural modeling here right so it's quite straightforward and we just make, uh, save this one save and we need to save inside here save and try to synthesize and see what is uh, well we have 11 warning and uh, again we need to check and uh, it's actually this means that the previous uh, warning yeah uh, in the in in this uh, in this yeah so if we change to this to zero zero we should have no problem right so we should have no problem so uh this is actually from 
from this uh, the three state buffer can be cleared so uh, in our case should be no problem as well actually right so this warning can be ignored okay so we have uh, the design already now we need to create the uh, touch band right to simulate our design uh, again we need to create a new very log file uh, attachment you need to have uh, time time scale uh, in this case we use one another second uh, time unit and uh, one another second precision and for module name is let's name it is that the uh, cu du du dash pen all right and uh, we have the input to the dash pen and the output to the dash pen we can uh, use the same name here is input and output right so uh, and remember this must be uh, right right in the uh, dash band and uh, this should be declared as wire and this also should be declared as wire in dash band right and uh, we instantiate our this design uh, the name is this right Do you see you and let's name our test band as uh, design under test DUT and the port list as we use the same uh, port name here then we can just use the same here right now we can have the uh, the setting where we want to monitor this the time unit and we want to monitor all this uh, data actually in this signal actually so we can uh, just copy and paste and uh, Okay. and it should be in the form of uh, binary and we should finish here and of course uh, we will map to this right is it everything yes okay uh, maybe we here we have our clock signal is starting at zero and 
and uh, we create our clock signal using always uh, and it's the it's changed huh? we, we we change the clock or toggle the clock at every uh, every 10 nanosecond all right means that our period is now 20 nanosecond okay and now we have the uh, stimulus the input vector to our design so at time zero what we want to have okay so uh, to have this maybe we can uh, do something like uh, this okay So uh, we have the clock signal. So we want to create the signal like this. This is our clock. All right. So uh, we can have our and this is uh, our reset. Okay. So uh, this is twenty nanosecond. This is forty. This is sixty. 80, 100, 120, 140, and so on. And uh, maybe we have a reset signal from uh, 0 to 25. And after that, we uh, let the reset, reset to be 0 all the time. All right, so we reset here set first and then uh, when we start here after reset so this should be uh, state as zero and uh, again now uh, uh, remember our finite state machine is this negative h triggered yeah so uh, as zero should start here right so this should be as zero and the next one should be as one and this here should be as two and back to as zero again at 100 nanosecond so here um, if this is as zero so maybe here we have data in uh we set start here the data in uh, data in uh after reset maybe we make the data available here Right. Okay. So this is data one. Uh, maybe we have number number five. We put number five here. Right. Uh, until until what time? Before just before another one. Uh, maybe here is 25 until somewhere here we change the data to number six
30 plus 50, 80, two shot. Right, maybe I did this. Okay, and then we change it to the new data. To number six. All right, so that here we read a new value which is six. And let's see what is inside rec one, rec two, and rec three. Should be according to uh, our specification. Right, so we want to create this. Uh, okay, so at zero, uh, we uh, make sure that the reset signal is equal to one. All right, and uh, we have no data in yet, so maybe we put it zero. And uh, after 25 nanosecond, 25 nanosecond, uh, we make reset equal to uh, zero. And data in, uh, uh, we have number five here, number five. And let's, for example, another uh, here is about uh, 50. Or 60 nanosecond, 50 nanosecond. We have uh, uh, a new data in, which is number six. And let's run this simulation until uh, another 100 nanosecond. And we stop the simulation. And end here. And module right so now let's see what happened and uh, I'll try to start so we need to save this and the name should be this yeah and uh, we save okay and try to run here oh, we have error uh okay so what is that oh why input should be initial right initial so it's a syntax error okay so uh just the previous warning then we know exactly what is that warning so it should be no problem so we have done that and uh Let's look at the simulation. So we need to do, have a simple setting here. And we use model sim or terra. And the output format for netlist is very long. And uh, we compile the test bench. So uh, the test bench name is this. And uh, the file is this one. Add. And it should be OK. Okay, now we do the RTL simulation and wait for model sim to simulate. All right, start running now. Okay, so I have my waveform here. Spend this and uh, make it full. All right, so uh, this is in binary, so I want to change to. Uh, Unsign so that I can see exactly. All right. So here, this is our data. This is our data uh, exactly based on uh, what we. Uh, right in our test bed, uh, we have data in equal to 5 here at 25 nanosecond and uh, here we see that our state, yeah, this is state, 
So we, we, we can see the state here because in our design here, we have this. We have this state as our output, right? And in our CU, right, we have this. That's why we can see the state in our simulation. So this is state zero. It is actually start start here, and this is reset. Actually, it's always zero. State zero is start here because it's it's our finite state machine is uh, is a negative edge trigger. So this is state zero, and we can see that if when state zero, uh, this data oh, should be here. We can see that at the positive edge of the clock here, this is positive edge. The data is transferred into into rec one. All right, in uh, state s zero. All right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we see that as rec two is still zero, rec three is still zero because we reset. Yeah, we do the reset before that, so there is no data should be zero. So there is no data yet. But in our rec one, we have number five already. And uh, next clock cycle here, state one S one. This is S one. S one. We move the data from rec one into rec two. This is rec two. We have number five. So the data is moved from uh, here to here, number five, in uh, state S one. All right, and uh, in state. S2, the next state, we move number 5 from rec 2 to rec 3. Yeah. Okay. And we see that this is why we use a negative uh, edge trigger for state yeah? because we want to have the data transition. Make sure that the transition is in middle of the state. That means that the state is stable already. We can see that before we transfer the data from here to here, from R1 to R2, we can see that this happened when the state is stable at the middle of the state, yeah? not at the same time as the state transition. This is not good because Sometimes, if this is faster than your state diagram, so you may have a, an invalid result here. All right. So we make sure that this one is, yeah, half clock cycle slower than the state transition. We make sure that we, the state is stable first yeah, before we move the data at the positive edge clock here. You see. This is exactly in the middle, all right? So we make sure that this is, yes, in state S1, right? Same as this one. In the middle of state S2, we move data from uh, rec 2 to rec 3. And this is the new cycle, yeah? This is state S0. We have a new data here, number 6. And we can see that number 6 is transferred at state S0, transferred to R rec 1, and the next S1 is transferred to rec 2 already, and the next state uh, S2 is transferred to S2 here, All right? So this uh, show that our simulation is correct, and our, of course, our design is correct huh, based on this simulation so we can have another data to see uh, if you have want to look at more data all right so uh, this is our simulation based on our design all right any question 
for this. Okay, so if no question, we are back to this. So we have the design also, uh, and you have the code here, or uh, maybe I will share the new code for uh, the, what we have done just now, uh, because the code is uh, maybe a little bit different from this, all right, but it's actually uh, uh, produced the same result. Eh? This, this one is a little bit, this is, uh, this is wrong, eh? this is 4-bit actually, 4-bit, and this is not rec 1. Eh? Change this to, this is rec 2, and this should be rec 3, right, 1-0. And this is 4 bit actually, and there you have that. that. Okay, other than that, should be okay. All right, so this is the code, and uh, this is the CU, same CU, and this is the connection, the integration, and uh, CU. Right, a little bit different, but you can have a look at this. Uh, same things, uh, actually. And this is another example. Right, using number nine, you can see that nine is transferred to R one, R two, R three. One is transferred, right? E transferred in right, any data. Okay, so uh, I think. We are at 11.30 and uh, this is what we will look after this. Uh, maybe uh, we continue next week. Yeah, uh, Another half of this chapter for next week. All right, and we will finish this chapter next week. Right before we go to the next, next one. Yeah? We have another example here. All right, you can have a look at this. And uh, we will do uh, some uh, exercise here before we go to the uh, the final chapter of this course. Okay, so I think today we will uh, end the session here. So if you have any pro uh, any question, you can uh, always ask. You can ask now, or maybe you can ask through uh, the uh, WhatsApp.